I was asked on an internal coaching call today, how, what are the benefits of coaching or how do I think coaching helped? And I gave a I gave a fairly long answer, but I wanted to share uh, I wanted to share the points that I made uh, with you all, not just as an advertisement of coaching, but to point out not only how we experience we as human beings experience life, but to also point out the work that you yourself could do if you want a different future, if you want to change your life, or if you want to get a better uh, outcome of something or if you want to create something in your life and the, the the answer that I gave and I will very briefly summarize it here but the answer I gave is that since since we are ch children since we are born we continuously garner beliefs we create beliefs maybe in response to particular events in our life I know that for sure certain events in my life have definitely uh, promulgated, um, I'm glad I said that correctly, uh, hoping to use it in a correct sense, um, but I created, I know that I particularly created a lot of beliefs in regards to potentially like bad breakups uh, and events like this, but it's not only these big events that create beliefs, it's not only these uh, big events, it's also every single uh, environment that we've been in or our response to those, we then potentially create beliefs. And the importance of that, and the reason why I'm emphasising that so much and emphasising it on my Instagram as well, is that we live through our beliefs. We are an infinitely powerful being that then lives through our beliefs into our reality. We create our reality. So to use, I guess, uh, a pay, maybe a kind of an image or an image that's in my head, and this one that I use quite a lot in my coaching and, and talking to people, is that essentially it is like wearing glasses and going to an optician where they test your test your eyesight and they put glasses on to you with loads of different lenses and then they kind of like switch them out and see whether you can see with one or see uh, see some writing and things. And it's exactly how we view reality. We have these glasses and when we're born, they have no filters. They're, they're literally like those, those new fashion ones where they've got glass on them. And as we grow older, as we go through life, more and more lenses are put onto, 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 the, onto the glasses. And if you could see them, they'd be infinitely long. Obviously, it's a bit impractical. But um, we live our life through those lenses, through those many lenses. And they could be, they could cover everything from relationships, money, um, work, literally anything that you can think of will have a belief behind it. Even you interpreting what I'm saying is going via your beliefs at the moment. You're understanding or interpreting what I am saying. That's all beliefs. And you're, you're, you're uh, operating through these beliefs on, on, on a, I was going to say on a daily basis, but every moment of your life, you're operating through these beliefs. And a lot of people don't see that. A lot of people go into the external environment and they think it's the external environment making them feel particular things or they think they, they these things are a fact. Like you go into a, I don't know, like a work meeting and it went in a particular way. No, that that you know that's just that that is just your belief of how it went. You might talk to someone else and they go, oh no, I thought that meeting went really well, or I thought that interview went really well, because they're interpreting their reality via totally different beliefs to you. Everyone has their own set of beliefs. Everyone has their own reality, and where this impacts, as perhaps you can imagine, is it as I said, it impacts on relationships. It impacts on jobs money it, uh, for, for personal example and one I use quite a lot because it's been something that I've really struggled with was relationships like I used to be really needy in relationships or even before getting to a relationship I kind of knew you know what I knew that I would be really good in a relationship but I couldn't even get to that point because I was so needy because I believed that a girl would make me feel a particular way. I thought I believed that they she having a girl in my life would then mean, oh, I'm happy. I'm good enough. Whatever. Obviously, it's not true. I, I feel happy on my own, regardless of any any anyone outside of me. Um, and, and I feel fulfilled and I and I am whole. Everyone's whole. But 
by operating through that belief that I have now dropped, I have now seen through, I then created a media reality. I then d created uh, me being single. I then uh, created bad experiences with women, as you, I'm sure you can imagine. But the power is that I then, once I could see that I had that belief, then I could actually change it. I could actually go out into the world and, and kind of just see that it's not true. I could explore for myself how I'm happy when I'm uh, just sitting at home doing doing nothing or, or, or playing computer games or, or reading or whatever. Like that doesn't rely on someone else being in my life. I could start to test the belief that I had that I needed a girl in my life. And when I start testing, or when you start testing your own beliefs, then you can start to poke holes in these things. You can start to go, ah, oh, that's not always true. You know, like, uh, if you've got a similar belief to, to, to the one that I had, you don't have to, you can kind of start pinking, uh, poking holes in it and go, well, I was happy this time, but I didn't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or, or, or whatever your preference is at that point in time, but I was happy. I, you know, like, I had a girlfriend at that point or boyfriend at that time, but I wasn't happy. Like, doesn't really make sense. And once you start kind of looking at these things, once you start poking holes in these different beliefs that you may have, then then they start to unravel quite quickly. And and that's so magical because it then means that you're taking an extra, you're taking one of those lenses off. You're now operating in a world free from that belief. You're operating from freedom. You're operating from not having any thinking on or, or beliefs around a particular result. Another example would be at, at, at work or an interview, for example. I've got clients internal to, to government, what, a, 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 one of which, or a couple of which, wanted a job promotion. and But the thing is that they believe they're not good enough or they they believe that they haven't got the required experience but and this is and this is my job and it's something that equally you can do without a coach and i'm not i'm not saying that you need a coach for this but what i do and what what other coaches what my own coach has done to me is essentially and this is actually something i totally thought of today uh it's like it's the role to play like a house of mirrors like I walk into my coaching conversation or my clients walk into my coaching conversation and then my job is essentially to act as the house of mirrors, to shine back particular things and particular aspects or even to identify particular beliefs that they may hold and they ha uh, hold about themselves and then kind of just question them and, and see, you is it, it, you know, is this true all the time? Um, and quite a lot of the time they go, well, no. And, and once they start to see the whole, as I said earlier, they can start to drop the belief. And yes, you can get quick action, you can get quick results from this, but at the same time, sometimes things can be persistent. Like, for example, with me with, with women and, and being needy, that, that took quite a considerable amount of time and effort on my behalf to, to, to drop and to see through, particularly the la to the last two years um, and over the pandemic. So what I'm saying is that, you know, the way that we as human beings interact with life is it is via our thought in the moment. But via our thought in the moment has to go through all these different layers of beliefs that we hold about particular people, about ourselves, about the environment, about the future, about the past. And if we can drop these one by one or, or indeed a, a number at a time, then we can re we can live a totally new reality. We can live a, a much better, much freer reality where you're kind of creating from that freedom, you're creating from possibility uh, rather than limitation. And for me, in my own life, like the amount I've changed from being massively insecure, atypical geek and nerd, which I'm 100% not judging, I still love my geeky stuff and I still love my needy, uh, needy stuff, I do not love that, uh, nerdy stuff, is that, you know, like, I, I, I've massively changed myself because of ex this exact thing. I had so many beliefs going on around life, about myself, about women, relationships, like money, uh, abundance, jobs, careers, absolutely everything. Health as well, massively struggled with health and I had a lot of beliefs around health. Um, but once you kind of like look through all those beliefs and once you kind of, um, or I've done the work that I've done, like you start living again from that freedom, from the, from that kind of like, 
I, I, the words that came to my mind were pure bliss and I 100% say it's not pure bliss all the time I am not perfect and there's still many many things that I'm sure I've got to see but once you start testing and prodding those beliefs once you start kind of dropping them and seeing through them then you can operate from a whole new level of freedom you can be more productive you can get the job you want you can create the relationship you want you can create the money you want you could literally do anything you want and and I guess a quick example of this is that I worked with the president of Panama and I worked with the the set the foreign minister of Panama and I worked with ministers and the other ministers the prime minister of Panama at COP26 last year I can 100% guarantee to you if I did not drop a lot of the beliefs that I had and held about myself and the world then that would not have been possible but it was possible and I did do it and it was one of the best example best best experiences of my life and it was an absolute privilege to be there. But what I'm saying is that like a few years ago, I would never have imagined that being possible. And to be honest, even a year ago, it was in November, even a year ago, I would not have dreamed that to be possible. But because I've seen through all of these beliefs, because I, uh, I'm operating more from a level of freedom and possibility rather than impossibility, these things start to create. These start things start to be created in reality. And it is exactly the same for you exactly the same for you so if you are again coming back to the start if you are struggling with something or even if you're not struggling with something if you want to create something in your life relationships jars money you know like literally anything then just have a look at potentially what kind of beliefs you have that are limiting you are you do you believe that it's not possible do you believe that uh you're not good enough do you believe you need a partner in your life etc look at those beliefs and if you're not sure what beliefs you've got that's totally fine like there's loads of beliefs that i'm sure i you know like, i don't know but if you don't know then the best thing to do is perhaps to to reach out and ask for help but or to kind of just ask people like see like oh or, or to even have a look and just say like what well, i know what kind of beliefs do people who are needy with relationships have Obviously, well, for me, I mean, it was the fact that I, I thought my happiness came from somewhere else, you know, but once you kind of have a bit of an awareness of those, you could yourself can literally get a pad of paper or even do it in your head and, and, and just basically ask yourself questions. Well, is that true all the time? Uh, well, if it's not true all the time, then it suggests to me that it's not true at all, because, you know, like if I need to be if I need a girl to be happy, you know that that's kind of like a hundred percent thing like if it's not true all the time it kind of suggests it's not true uh but once you start testing these and i know i've been an inspector for about 13 years so maybe i'm good at asking questions and good at good at inspecting things but once you start testing and prodding yourself prodding these things you will start to realize that you can quite quickly change your life and once you quite quickly change your life you know then then the magic really starts to happen and you start to having a much happier life and you start to achieve things with a lot more ease. But anyway, this video has gone on a lot longer, well, not necessarily a lot longer than I anticipated, but it's gone on longer than I anticipated. So what I really want to say is just be aware potentially of the beliefs that you may hold about yourself, about the world, other people, envi uh, the environment um, and situations. But kind of just, just be aware of it and, and don't think about it too much. But just kind of be aware of what potentially you, you do believe and then be open to testing those. Be open to kind of like prodding them. Be open to inspecting them and seeing as to whether they, you know, kind of like whether they hold true. And one, as I said, once you start doing that and if you if you go deep, then 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 you'll get some really good uh, and incredible changes in your life. And and I guess to bring it back to the start of me mentioning around coaching is like that is what coaching is there. That's why that's why coaching has made a massive difference in my life. That's why coaching has made a massive difference in the people that I coach life and other people, because a coach like maybe not like an expector, because uh, that just makes people pay more. But um, but like a coach, you know, that kind of just helps you helps provide that mirror, it helps give you faster results, it helps you give a more. Uh, I guess holistic approach or a, a kind of like a more well-rounded approach and helps you point out the different things but as I said you 100% do not need a coach in your life you can do this yourself and I urge you to do this yourself because as I said I, I've achieved massive 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 shifts on, on myself um, and I know others have as well 
Um, but yeah, if, if you do indeed want a bit of help, then feel free to, to message me, but equally do not. And I, to leave this with something useful, I would 100% recommend uh, the book that I recommended to who I was talking to earlier, uh, and that was The Inside Out Revolution by Michael Neal. It is a fantastically easy book to read. It is an excellent uh, book by an excellent guy. Um, he's a really nice guy, and I 100% recommend that if you are interested um, in, in, in perhaps uh, looking at your own beliefs and understanding a bit more as to how the human experience works. But anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you did, or even if you didn't, leave a message underneath uh, and I would be extremely uh, grateful to see what you have to say.